Ladies and gentlemen, behold the singularity. Look at this bad boy. Got a wolf's head. It has 10 main strings and it has eight sympathetic strings. I haven't tuned the sympathetic strings yet, but I have tuned everything else up. And I thought I'd just go through instrument one by one. Um, this, in case you're wondering, is the singularity. It is the prototype, the very first one ever made for Alter Winds Full Monty series. So this one's not Full Monty, which is good because I don't like that name, um, but I love it. And I'm going to talk you through some of the features of it, and I'll talk about some of the. Um, yeah, I'll talk about some of the controls about Alter Winds as well. But so this is it. So it's massive. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's, it's a huge, big um, beast of a thing. But it's got a lot of features, so we'll get to that eventually. It has three trumpets. We'll start with the, uh, we'll start with the, the E trumpet. So it's dialed right back. So I've dialed, I've, I've dialed it right back. As you'll see, the other trumpets are a bit more springy. Um, this is the next trumpet, which I'll take. I'll take the E off and put on the G trumpet. This one's a bit buzzier. the G and I'll put on the C trumpet which is the buzziest of them all. The reason I took off the other two is because that one is so crisp that when you put them all three on Uh, they have capos for each one. So. What perfectly defined. Uh, I'll take them all off and I'll do the drones. There are three drones. We cover remote switches which are right from the top, which is amazing. That's the low E drone, low E drone. Apples too, so sounds epic and it does sound epic. Melody strings, um, let's get the drums off and get the melody strings on. So it has two sets of melody strings, both in octave pairs. It has G's and D, it has G and D. So we'll start with, we'll start with, uh, we'll start with G. Full disclosure, the previous owner has um, put some little rubber uh, stoppers on metal tangents and they're, they're not all there, she obviously hasn't finished in them all yet. So some do, some have them, some don't, which makes the strings a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, 
Yeah, I feel the intent to continue that and have them all set up to have all got rubber stanchions, and I think that'll make a big difference. But it's either right. Um, we do the G. No, we do the G. Uh, the D. Sorry. Now, full disclosure, this um, this beast has been in customs for about a, a month, sitting in a case, and it was pretty dusty when I got it as well, so it obviously hadn't been played for a while. It was pretty much in tune. <laughs> Because it has got two sets of chan two sets of chances in G and uh, D, it means for the first time ever I can do this playing fifth playing uh, third. <laughs> So let's hear it all on. Uh, I love it. I want to say a quick um, thank you to George for making this, but I, apparently George and his wife uh, are having a bit of a struggle at the moment because they've been kicked out of their house thanks to the wildfires and they evacuated the studio. So um, thoughts go out to them. Hope they're okay. And uh, I love this. This is an amazing machine. Um, they get a lot of slack um, from a lot of uh, European makers and a lot of European players. I don't know. I've never really understood why entirely. Uh, now I am an owner of an auto wind instrument, I can safely say that I'm very impressed with this one. Uh, I'm, I'm not the world's greatest expert, but I know enough about them to understand this is a player. And it's got some incredibly useful features, and it sounds really good. Oh yes, that's brilliant. Well done.